Welcome back to the Clock Shop. This is Jim with J.R. Clocker on eBay. Let's see what happened at the Clock Shop this week. Hi, everyone. Some of you may know where I am. Some may not. But I'm in the back room at Merit's Antiques. Um, they have... This is one of my favorite places to go. I've known them for more than 30 years. And uh, let's just show you some of the stuff they just got in. I don't know if you're into this French stuff, but it's really, really nice. Actually, I just bought one of his items here. And, you know, look at that. I mean, the price is great. You know, it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful clock. And outstanding condition it's a slate clock so it's heavy um then he had another one here uh same same price uh open escapement french but look at the columns i mean it just it just makes a statement french clocks make a statement and he has a bunch of stuff here this, this looks like an english one have english one i haven't gotten into it so i'm <clears throat> just giving you uh, this may be a Howard. This one, um, is that price probably a Howard? Then? <clears throat> but some really cool stuff. Oh, here's a really nice. This is a thirty-hour uh, chain, um, with a with a calendar on it. Um, but look at that brass dial. I mean, it's just beautiful. So it's a wall clock. Um, anyway, and, and if you like, uh, Seth Thomas wall clocks, there's a nice gallery. This is not the 60 day version. And, uh, this, I'm going to say this one here, I don't know. I'm going to guess, I don't have my glasses on, but with this case here, I don't want to put my glasses on because it looks like it, it, the gong is marked. And yeah, Ansonia. I think. What does that say? Oh, no. Uh, Krobler, New York. That's what it is. But look at that beautiful cast uh, dial pan. Anyway, some of the stuff he's got here. But, you know, if you're at Merritt's and uh, you come in the back room, you can find a lot of parts and a lot of really cool stuff back here. Um <clears throat> And then uh, always always go into the side section here because there's a lot of really uh, cool, inexpensive parts that you can find. Um, some more clocks. I mean, you're not going to, there's not a shortage of clocks here. And I know for some of you, I'm, uh, you know, overstating the obvious. He did just get some cool uh a cool collection of um, very, you know, this is a very large music box. Uh, it looks like it plays at least 12 pieces of music. Uh, this was out of a collection, a person passed away, and some of them uh, are working, some of them need work. He was a repair person. Um, but look at that, beautiful. And, uh, you know, the price I think is pretty reasonable. And, uh, but yeah, so there's always a ton of stuff here. Um, I know they were up at, Sh uh, Schmidt and Haran and, uh, oh, need some big hands. There you go. And this is stuff that you have to get permission. Uh, you have to have somebody back here with you. Um, and, uh, you know, you just can't come back here, this area. The rest of the store, it's fine. But this area here, you really need to have permission um, to, to do it. Let me just give you a... Uh, an idea, just... This is usually their new stuff they got in. I snagged the clock from back here. Um... You do some repairs here. And then if you... This is the back door, and please, please respect that. Um, uh, let me get through here. And then there's a bunch of stuff in here.
but yeah, if you haven't been to Merrick's for a while, I would be get here. Um, I try to get here at least, at least once a month. Look at this beauty. I mean, come on. That's an un unbelievable price. This beautiful, beautiful clock. You know, let me just put my hand up again so you get a good idea. It's just a beautiful, I forget what model this is, but you know, but there's always plenty of stuff here. Um, and reasonably priced, reasonably priced. I mean, you know, if you can't find the movement parts you need here, they don't exist. So just give you another quick little view around here. We usually take a good part of the day here because it's hard to look through all this stuff. I've, uh, show you a little bit about what I bought today. And, uh, but yeah, <laughs> this is just amazing, man. You just, you have to, you know, if you, if you come out to Columbia, uh, if you're NAWCC and if you haven't stopped by Merritt's, you're, you've really missed something here. And, uh, it's just a lot of fun. Uh, make sure you look through these cases a lot. I got two, uh, three really nice tools through that he had in and around these. these uh, I, could, I could get him a price on that right there. I just noticed that. First of all, I got to see who made it. And then, uh, anyway, so some of this stuff is online. Um, but if you like torsions, there's one, two, three, four torsions sitting here. And, uh, oh yeah. And it just keeps going. I remember when they were right across the, the driveway in the, the smaller store. This is much bigger. This used to be the furniture part. And now it's all clock stuff. Um, Yeah, if you can't find the part you need, it doesn't exist. Anyway, and then there is a nice watch department here. Um, he goes, I don't have nobody that's gonna want all this stuff. So get your watches. We bought a really nice watch here today, and then there's, there's some parts. There's plenty of stuff. Oh yeah, another room. <laughs> there's just a lot of stuff for you guys. Again, if you haven't, if you're NAWCC and you haven't come here, you've missed a lot. Because I'd venture to say there's about as much stuff here today than there is at National going on in Dayton right now. Hi, we're back from Maris and we had a pretty good time. Uh, we didn't spend a ton of money there. Um, and it was kind of, you know, everybody's at Dayton. So it was kind of, I think it kind of got wiped out before Dayton. But anyway, um, we the most expensive thing we bought uh, is going to end up being in our collection. It's a uh, Hamilton um, Railway Special 23 Jewel. It has a it has the Railway Special dial. It's really cool. We'll show it to you in a later video. Um, 23 Jewel 99950B. Anyway, we were looking at a couple different watches. We were a couple clocks. Now, evidently these recently sold at Schmidt and Haran. And uh, <coughs> um, uh, let me see here. Okay. This <coughs> beautiful dial. This is a slate case. I think I showed you this in an earlier video. But this is the one next to it is the one I didn't show you. And you get a much better look at this one here. But this one here is also French. They're both French. But this one um, has a platform balance escapement that looks like an open escapement. But it's really, really cool. Cool clock. Um, <clears throat> Anyway, so let me cross in front or move over here a little bit. We bought a bunch of cuckoo clock movements. Um, now, I had uh, 
uh, one of my apprentices with us and I let him take half of them. But I took the ones that nah, needed some stuff, needed some work. But there's some eight day, there's some 30 hours. I'll get them straightened out and let you know how they are. Um, <clears throat> got some a nice group of bounce uh, wheels. And I just wanted to show you um, how I look at bounce wheels when I'm just looking at them. And what I look for is at least a 20 to 30 second run. And if I need to like jiggle it a little bit, I it kind of acts like the impulse. And uh, this is an old style. This one's good. Uh, let me see if I, this is a different old style there. Um, I think most of them were pretty decent. Uh, here's the new style here. Gotta be careful here. They're all kind of, um, again, let me sit here and this is a nice one for the new Hermleys. Anyway, we've got that box there. We got this uh, pretty reasonable. Um, we have to about sell about two or three to get our money back, and there's another, I don't know, ten in there. Got um, uh, got a nice new old stock. Yeah, you know, most of the, you know this is stuff bought out of unfortunately estates, uh, clockmaker estates, and they've since passed, and they they had this stuff in stock. Uh, this is the large 22 tooth, and this is a smaller. And uh, this has the plastic gear, this has the metal gear. That's always nice. Here's uh, some new old stock uh, eight day and 30 hour uh, cuckoo clock movements. Got these pretty, re these are really, really hard to get right now. Uh, with some chains, I'll have to clean it up a little bit. Um, and then we got some barrels. Uh, I like buying barrels because we sell a lot of barrels. Uh, and when I get one like this, it's a, a number 50. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. Uh, then there's a 40 in here. And I buy them so reasonable from Merits that, you know, I don't have to check to see whether, they're, you know, they're good or not. Uh, just, uh, if they're pretty clean, then they're pretty good to go. Um, this looks like a new old, uh, who knows. This is a 40. So, yeah, I got a, you know, and then I got a nice bell. This is a nice American bell. Uh, and uh, nickel plated. it. Uh, we got some bellows for... Um, Atmos clocks. It looks like uh, they need to be refilled, but we got them cheap, so we'll put these up in a lot of three uh, for auction on eBay. Um, uh, some, you know, we like to get this stuff here cheap. Uh, it's always good. Somebody's always looking. You know, this is a typical. This could go on a a New Haven. Um, banjo clock it could go on you know any their westminster chime clocks are pretty uh uh pretty same common stuff it has a very nice bevel glass well worth what we paid for it and some other things here so you won't believe how these sell these little trees because they're really hard to make and if you're missing one off your clock there, you know, this, I put them up. This other, eh, it's not really much. It was just all in one box together. And a nice little pendulum blob for some nice feet uh, for a mantle clock, American mantle clock. But here's a piece that'll resist on. Um, here's a really nice bezel chuck. Uh, I haven't been able to find a name on it, but it doesn't really matter. It's an, uh, it is a uh, eight millimeter. These are really, really hard to come by in such good condition. 
I can spin them out like that. Holy moly. That, you know, it's like it's never been used. All right. And then I got a couple more stuff things here. Uh, another faceplate chuck. Uh, all eight millimeter has their, has the pointer in it. And, uh, let me see, I'm trying to, okay. And then we have, uh, another face plate. This is a smaller diameter, uh, but it is eight, uh, eight millimeter. And finally we got another, another similar diameter. Um, this is an unusual one because it's a, it's a three piece, but it's not a full, uh, it has the air vents in that for it, but it's not, uh, it's, uh, I have to check this. I think this is six millimeter, which would be great because six millimeters hard to get harder to get. Uh, give me a break. Let me check that millimeter. Anyway, we did do uh, check it out and it is a Wolf John, um, six millimeter. The pipe here registers a 6.5 millimeter. Um, uh it's you know frankfurt germany nice piece this is these are very hard to come by so it'll be interesting to put it up on ebay we'll do do the comps and figure it out um so anyway that's what we got today at merits uh thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time